Hi, fellow vegans, Greek or non-Greek, wherever you are. Um, it's a good day to cook today. And we are going to be cooking zucchini blossoms. Um, this is a very, very nice recipe. They taste awesome. And we're gonna make them stuffed with rice. So let's go to the kitchen. Hey, Popeye, let's go to the kitchen and make some zucchini blossoms stuffed. Okay. So look at the beautiful things I've got here. I have olive oil, I have lemon, I have a large onion, I have a zucchini, I have beautiful, beautiful zucchini blossoms. There are about maybe 10 of them. And I have some parsley. Now you can also add dill or um, you can add whatever you want, carrots, maybe other vegetables and chop them in in the mix that you're going to stuff the zucchini blossoms with. Um, I'm sticking with the basics and um, yeah, and it's about for two people. Um, it's mostly a side dish, but you can also of course have it as a main. And of course it's vegan. So first thing we'll do, we're going to wash and dry those zucchini blossoms. The stems are already cut in these ones. Um, so we're just going to wash them a little bit and then let them dry. Meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're going to chop the onions and the zucchini to uh, make the stuffing. So here's my chopped onion, followed by the chopped zucchini, and at this point uh, it would be good if you want to add other um, ingredients such as carrots to add them now, chopped of course. Then the parsley and or dill, well actually you cannot not put parsley, but you can put parsley and dill, that would give it this special um, aroma. A third of a cup of olive oil. Of course, you can add more if you want to. I'm trying still to keep it low fat, as I told you in a previous video. Um, and I need to tell you that I have lost six kilos over a one and a half month um, with high carb, low fat diet. So I am trying to keep it low fat. And lastly, half a cup of risotto rice. We will gently, gently mix those ingredients together to make a um, homogenous mix. Oh my god, how did that word come up? A mix that we can use to fill our zucchini blossoms with. And at this point you would want to add a little bit of salt. The whole camera is trembling. Look, earthquake and some pepper of course i'm trying to keep it low sodium earthquake um because of the high carb low fat diet i was talking to you about so i'm going to pour another third of a cup of oil in my pan without any heat at the beginning and here's what we'll do with the stuffing and with the blossoms of the zucchinis so here's what we're doing. We're taking one zucchini blossom. We are very carefully opening it up. And this is how the interior looks like. Okay, it has the stem that you need to remove first. So I will remove it just by taking it all together and snapping it out like that, okay? throwing it away and then you have the interior to fill you'll take one spoonful and fill the zucchini blossom with it looks kind of like that okay not much because um, if you put too much the rice will um, grow and it will become bigger and this whole thing will swell and get off 
your uh, filling and what you need to do then is use the nice little leaves like that to close it okay nothing big just make sure that the filling doesn't escape so it becomes something like that and then what you're doing is that you put it in the pan one next to the other so you do that with all the zucchini blossoms now do you have extra filling that you didn't use as I always do when I have stuffed stuff uh, prepared and I always end up having um, um, way more filling than I originally needed uh, nothing to worry about I will show you what to do with it because yes you can do something about it meanwhile I'll show you the results in my pan uh, just before I start cooking and there it is there they are they look beautiful and this is what's left over of the filling and I'll show you right away what to do with it but first let's start cooking them before we start cooking them we will need the juice of one or maybe two depending to your liking lemons I'm going to do it like that very old-fashioned way see all the lemon juice is in there no seeds there you go I'll just add a little tiny bit of water like half a cup and then I'll show you what to do then we'll literally take a plate yes it's Ikea and we will put it on top of our stuffed zucchinis we will cover the pan like that and we will put a low heat for about 30 minutes and let's see what to do with the filling now very easy just add a little bit a tiny little bit of flour and mix it all up until you get a doll that looks like a meatball there you have this mass which you can use to roll to little tiny zucchini balls zucchini meatballs of course no meat is included and you can either throw it in the pan together with the zucchini blossoms or fry them or whatever you want there you go four wonderful zucchini little meatballs um, they're going to steam together with the rest of the food I could have fried them but I don't want to fry them I'll keep it like that I'll cover the pan again and I will be checking from time to time during this 30 minutes to see if it needs more water okay half an hour has passed and I will use two forks to very carefully remove this plate be careful not to burn yourself it's very very hot and here's the final result oh my god that looks yummy and I will use the two fork method again to take them out and serve them on a plate so this would look something like that there you have it doesn't that look beautiful and delicious so guys and girls thank you so much for watching I must admit that I could not resist the temptation so I did try them and they were so delicious so um, yeah I'm very glad this turned out to be a great recipe and um, it does go very very well with lemon but as you know we Greeks we put lemon on everything it's our favorite thing to put on salads on foods on whatever kind of food that is and um, yeah I hope you enjoy it this is uh, Popeye doing all that noise <laughs> by the way he loved it as well um, and yeah you can feed your uh, dog this kind of food no problem it doesn't contain anything harmful for them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you on a next recipe greek vegan traditional recipe
Bye bye.